Hello and welcome to another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on the causes of balance of payments on current account deficits and surpluses. There are several factors that might cause a surplus on the balance of payments on current account. These include reputation, the state of the economy, a falling exchange rate, and net inflows from investment. We'll take a look at each of these in more detail now. Some countries with a strong history of trade surpluses have a good reputation for producing high quality goods and services that are always in high demand. The UK has a very good reputation in areas such as financial services, medical research, aerospace technology, and education with people paying very high fees to study at UK universities from abroad. If the domestic economy is weak and there's a lack of opportunities, then firms may look to sell more in foreign markets. A weak domestic economy may also mean less people are employed with lower incomes, meaning less people purchase imports, which tend to be more expensive than domestic goods. If a country's exchange rate falls, this means its exports become cheaper in other countries, increasing demand for them. At the same time, imports become more expensive in the domestic market, reducing demand for those. If more money is coming into the country from investments that its residents have made abroad than going out to foreign investors that have invested in our country, then it can boost the balance of payments. When it comes to deficits on the balance of payment on current account, we can see that there are also a number of reasons. These include reputation, declining industries, rising exchange rates, falling incomes overseas, and net outflows from investment. We'll take a look at each of these in more detail now. If countries have a poor reputation for quality or for being too expensive, it will decrease the level of exports they can hope to make. If a country is heavily invested in declining industries with decreasing demand, this can severely decrease their level of exports. As a country's exchange rate rises, exports become more expensive, decreasing demand. At the same time, imports become cheaper, increasing demand for these in the domestic market. If average incomes fall overseas, then people have less money to spend on our exports and demand for these falls. If less money comes into the country from investments that its residents have made abroad than goes out to foreign investors that have invested in this country, then it can reduce the balance of payments. That brings us to the end of this video on the causes of balance of payments on current account surpluses and deficits. Join me in the next video when I'll be looking at exchange rates. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.